<laughs> instead of saying writing 100 naira, it means that we're not doing our work. There's been several several budget cycles now yeah. uh, between this executive and this legislature, mm -hmm. and what we have not seen is some sort of process that would kind of increase efficiency over the period. You would, we would like to think that as Nigerians, we're watching this process unfold, that if you do something uh, once, the second time will be better, the third time will be better. Yeah. It has appeared to go in the reverse. It has seemed that every, it has gotten worse and worse and worse as time has gone on. No, and I, I want to I ask you, if the MTEF and the FSP were submitted well before the November 7 laying of, uh, of the budget, why was there this long lag? Because, you know, generally when we talk to lawmakers, they say, look, well, the budget was only laid November 7th. But they had, they had the, the, the preparatory documents well before then, and they, they simply said, these are unworkable, and they just left them on the table. Why, why is it like that? Why can't we get to a solution? What are the real issues? No, the issue on MTF was resolved. I think it was. And the benchmark was agreed on. I mean, everything. N n not in time. There was a long <laughs> lag. And I'm asking you directly, why is it that there seems to be these, these, these delays, and then after the delay, there's blame? Why is that the trend? No, we're, we're not blaming anybody here. We're saying that these are the circumstances we found ourselves. The, the question that, is, there's no the box person here. Why is the trend not getting better? That is why, it. Why is the trend for passing the budget not get? Every year we have a situation where the whereby the, the, the president submits a budget and people are hopeful that uh, hopefully in a number of in a couple of months this budget will be passed. But oftentimes we see one impediment or another delaying the passage of the budget for a particular year. Why mm. does what does this do, to be? Do the you case? really really think that the budget passage? is holding everything. It's not. There's, all, there's a budget in place. Holding everything. No, it? there's a law in place being implemented. And that's what we are saying. And we are starting as a member of a parliament to ensure that that one is properly done. Nothing has gone wrong. This hype about budget or no budget. Is the government stopping working? Have we shut down government like in America? No. Government has every provision to continue carrying out their programs and projects. Yeah, but there's nothing that is it. The passage of budget for the current expenditure, it's ongoing. There's no problem. It's so not can you give us the capital day? budget provisions that are being made. What we are saying that we want to ascertain the capital arm of the budget. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? That it needs to be passed for 2018. Needs to carry along what is left over in 2017. We want to ascertain it and so that once it's done, that's can, okay. can you give us a date? Can you give us a date as to when this will be passed? I told you very soon. It doesn't squarely lie with me. Very soon person, is what because it, we have a bicameral house. Yes, and have two leadership. The, the, uh, the processes involve them. Uh, but member, I'm telling you, the job member, I do as deputy yes. chairman has committee and operation yes. of collating what the standing committees are bringing to me yes. is, just that is ongoing. So as from, from, from your, from from your personal projections, when are you looking at, when do you think the yeah, national... A, a couple of weeks more. A couple of weeks more, so we should be looking at the end of March or when? Yeah, it could be possible that. Uh, honorable member, I want you I, to say it. I want you. I want you to give us something concrete, something that Nigerians can hold on to and say. You know, we had a member of the of the appropriation committee, not just a member, a deputy chairman of the appropriation committee. See, see why give I'm us not, a time no, no. frame. Deputy chairman can do his work based on instructions, but I am not the mouthpiece of the house. I agree. Uh, I, I agree. understand. I, agree I cannot speak you. for the house. I'm talking from my committee position. Yes, but I will not. The the chairman of House Committee on Information is in a better position to connect with leadership to tell you. But this. from your personal I'm projections, when are you? I've told you a couple of weeks from now. A couple of weeks from now means no. What? I cannot. I cannot define that. Uh, Honourable Member, I, I, I want to come in here because we know that there have been attempts to it, kind of get to prevention before uh, a cure is better than. Uh, I'm sorry, prevention, prevention is better than, than cure. cure of course. Yeah. Now. There have been attempts to try and get together uh, the executive and the legislature even before the MTEF is put up, even before the FSP is put up. We would like to think that over the course of a few budget cycles that this process would lead to a scenario in which once the budget is laid, there's minimal adjustments needed. Okay. Now, the question I have is, once, once you're done with your work on the budget, how much uh, uh, further, uh, how much, f uh, how much uh, more work is going to be required in terms of are we going to see another scenario where the executive comes and says, mm -hmm. look, you guys have mutilated our budget again and then we have to be reworking and reworking? No, no, no. no. This time uh, is taking it means there's a lot of collaboration or communication between the MDAs and their committees. Things are being ironed out. So once the document comes, there will be less friction. Nobody will have that kind of time. I tell you, this is the election year. As soon as this document is presented, 
Most of the NDAs will come up because. So we're not looking at another June, a June situation no, no, again. I, I don't think so. Mm. You don't think so. I don't so. think so. Okay. Doctor, well, coming back to what you said earlier, I can assure you, if you go to Ghana, where you come from, there's quite a lot of things <laughs> we've intervened from from federal that is helping the people from. It there. doesn't mean that it's the most that can possibly be done, though. There's a big difference. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Akabwezi, let me quickly ask you. I know that you have been engaging with CS, CSOs, uh, civil society organizations, and taking questions from them. Some of them have said that the answers have not been quite satisfactory. They believe that there have been some the appearances of some frivolous items again. I mean, in, in the past, it used to be every year we would see an approval for the president's kitchen or something to that effect. This year, we're seeing you know certain um, items they consider uh, frivolous expenditures again and I think that you have been trying to explain some of these things uh, but let me quickly ask you just wondering how do you think that we can see less and less of items that people I mean when you talk about the humongous amount that needs to be expended on mechanical for instance mechanical um, you know items in in the, in the villa for instance who are the people who actually prepare this budget and talking about mechanical items in the billions for instance well first of all we in the budget office and you know we, we, we've been very open with the CSOs and you know uh, and and our doors are always open. We've also created a citizens portal on our website for you know active interaction. If people have any specific questions about the budget or the process, you know thereof, to ask us. But I guess it's in the nature of the uh, operations of CSOs that uh, people sometimes love to play to the, the, the gallery. gallery. To the gallery. Um, you know, and so people rather than you know engage rush to you know judgment so you see an item and you declare it frivolous you haven't even asked the question what does this represent what what are the details as i said for instance you know beneath that there's a seven thousand page document document so you see a description okay and and it says uh mechanical and elect electrical installations in as a villa there's a detail supporting that so before you determine or conclude whether or not that's a frivolous thing the basic question is what does this represent mm. oh. and that such questions aren't being asked and people rush to so people see oh an item was provided for the previous year it's provided again it might even be the same amount and you rush to judgment but you know the country it's not a secret that we we have resource constraints so the budget for each year never fully provides for the needs of all the mdas so if for instance an mda needs to spend a hundred million naira on a particular item so maybe they need to buy uh uh, computers value 100 million but you can only afford to appropriate 30 million naira a year for them mm -hmm. you can see a situation where every year for three years you see 30 million for computers for that uh, MDA all that it says is the buying you know kind of meet, yes so but when you see that and you haven't asked questions and you, oh this MDA got 30 million for computers last year, they are getting 30 million this year, so nobody is doing looking at the numbers. Mm. Is that okay. Well, I'm afraid that we've just run out of time. No, I know no, you'd but like that's, to, that's why he answers the question. I, I believe that but, in the coming but, days, but, but, Honorable, no, no, you'll, no, you'll no, definitely one. oblige us. I'm so sorry. Okay. We have totally run out of okay. time. No problem, I have to thank right. both of you for coming on Sunrise Daily. Mr. Ben Akabwezi is the Director General of the Budget Office, and Honorable Chris Azubogo is the Deputy Chairman, House Committee on Appropriation. Sunrise Daily continues with my colleagues in Lagos.